one individual that I feel like, you know, he's going to be a, a player in, in the game, his room. From the hood, been in Fulton County since I was born. I ain't been nowhere else. In here, for burglary, taking chances, doing anything I can. Like in, in the jungle, if I'm a lion and I see some animals over there that I can eat, I'm going to go over there and eat them. I'm pushing up in the body. I want to. That's on blood. You could hear them fighting it out, and it literally heard like somebody was hitting their hand on a wall. Immediately, you can see Trey's nose was so swollen. Rue is a big guy. Monte decided he needed to uh, protect Trey. So Rue went into Monte's cell and uh, took the student's commissary. The guards asked what was going on, and Monte said that, you know, they're about to jump me. Even I knew that wasn't good, that you were about to snitch on somebody. You could get murdered in here for something like that. Here, the gangs are racially divided. The whites is the woods. Only runs the whites. With power comes fear. Everybody knows it's my house. You're going to conform, or you can go to another pod. Hey, man. Francis is an inmate that came in the unit, and people are saying, this guy got rolled out of another pod for being a snitch. He's one of the woods. It falls on Oni to take care of that. Are you guys gonna get information on, on him being a, a rat? I don't care. People can send words all they That's want to. If I don't see no black and white or somebody I trust to say it, I don't give a about that. If you vouch for him, you're out of there too. It's gonna be all out hell war. Only being a leader, he was supposed to deal with the snitch. And he dealt with it totally wrong. Do you guys need to take him out? You know what I mean? Or are we gonna make a personal issue? Yeah. A personal issue? Let's get on board. What's up? We got a rat in the house. Anybody who's claiming so, that can say that. You're vouching for him? Four pods. You're vouching for him. Four pods say he's a rat. I don't give a who you are, who you think you are. When you come in here, I'm sorry, but this is my pod. Wherever this dude is, I'm going to go talk to him right now, and I'm going to ask him face to face. If I see anything funny, then I can take the judgment. You know what I'm saying? All right. You're wood, and one of your woods are no good, and he has to go. I went up there and talked to the dude, and his story didn't match from when he first came in and told me. Come to find out, he wasn't a snitch, he wasn't a rat, but he let another race push him, and he didn't fight back. Oh, he, he still had to go. He went in the room, and he pretty much could smell the fear in him, and he knew. And at the end of the day, the politics played out, and you had to follow the order I gave. You can't touch me. I am royalty in here. At the end of the day, you're going to find out. I wasn't a part of your world. You were a part of my world. You're nobody. I'm like the Al Chapo. 
Pressure. Too tall, he, he like, kind of like the boss, you know? Everybody pretty much respect him. He just kind of run things. This is not a game to be played with. You don't mess with him. My birthday. Well, you didn't really eight Everybody got out their chairs, you feel me? We got it right here. I want to get busted up. I want, I want, I want my nose broke. Come on, let's get it. It's called one-on-one. -on -one. If I challenge you and you're a gang member, I challenge the gang. Bro started popping off at the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Bro got happy on his birthday. Gave him some birthday leave. I have a military behind me, basically. Whatever I say, they gonna do. Whatever I do, they gonna do. I had to stop my finger. It's called mind your business. They don't mind their business that way. I got to intervene and help you mind your own business. It shows you that Two tall has got a lot of pull in there, being the pod boss. He kept talking reckless, so we did what we had to do and beat him. I got all the commissary. I got all the money. I got the biggest influence in this pod. That's why I'm called the pod boss. It's going to be rare that an individual is going to fight me one-on-one. -on -one. Champagne, I sized him up. He sized me up. He the big dog in the pod, right, until he met me. See, in my pod, I'm running stuff. And if Champagne owe me something, I can use that to my advantage. I so uh, I gave him like four or five items. I said, here, boom. All right, you owe me, so and now I got you. I gave Champagne like four items, and if he don't pay me back, you know, I could appear weak. I can't, I can't have a reputation like that in jail. So I'll do. <laughs> so store day come, right? So that means it's time to pay up. I see Champagne got his little bag. He got his items in there. If it was a fight between me and Champagne, I would definitely put champagne on ice. Me and Champagne went in the cell. And I just back up, like, how we gonna play it, bro? I need me. Either two things, two things. Either you gonna clear it up, I'm gonna stab you. One of the two, straight up. How did this end with this deal? I got paid. Me checking him, putting him in his place in front of everybody, they like, oh, man, Tony, yo, he checked Champagne. I know what he'll do to me. Champagne paid me back, but I don't trust Champagne at all. So he definitely wants to be on my side, like, hey, what's up, Tom? Hey, bro, this and this. And I'm like, <laughs> bro, you can't even stand in my shadow. If there was a fight between you and Champagne, who would win? If we fight five times, I win four, guarantee. He might win in one. They kicked me out of prison. You out of prison? Yes. She's so bad. <laughs> I'm with the big people in my cell. I'm with, like, Swole. Swole is the boss now. Swole is a beast, a monster. I turned to swole when I, when I was on them drugs, because I'd just be like, bite it. Just take, it, it was no limit to what I would do. If you bump and hit me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna donkey cone you. Boom, I'm gonna donkey cone you straight up. There's constant drama in Stephanie's room, and one of her roommates happened to be arguing with one of my roommates. That is the fighting room. As soon as I wake up at 10 o'clock, I'm done, I'm going in, I'm going in that whole room. If I stayed in that room any longer, it was just gonna get worse. Obviously, if you wanna get out of that room, it's like either proving why you want to. <laughs> See you, bitch. Sober. Step. I'm in trouble, Step. Water. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it myself. Oh. Because I hate when people tell me I'm playing both sides. You said you can hear me talking. Hold on, that won't be talking. Ain't nobody gonna talk to you. I was talking to Shy. You gonna get your stuff up? I was talking about Shy, but you can get your stuff though. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I can get it. I don't care about none of this. Hey, it's um, make sure you change my car. The outlet. Yeah, go ahead. You can't move yourself, so get your stuff and put it back where you think.
So tell me a little bit about if somebody disrespects you. I'ma pray for him. If I moved out, it was for a reason. You're gonna move me right back into a dangerous situation. So there's some new guys that just moved into 600, particularly very young. At first when they came in, they were quiet, but then they met one of the guys in our dorm. His name's Tivo, And they realized that they were in the same gang. I was in prison for two years. Charge me with aggravated battery gang charge. I'm a loud person. People don't like me. But once you cross that line of disrespect, it's, it's, it's gonna be problem. You can't beat me. I always win. So it's just like, you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. As we move ahead, Tebow certainly is somebody I need to keep my eye on because he's so volatile. He's, he's dangerous for all of us. And one thing about jail, you can always expect a fight to go down. Four gangbangers surrounded the cell and wouldn't let anybody in. And that's how that goes. The gang members protect each other. Come on in, bro. Get caught, bro. Get caught. Hey, it really wasn't a fight. It was a beatdown. If T-Bone was on the street, he would have killed that man. I promise you that. He would have ended his life. Right. 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 